Wait for it. Check out those blue lights. Who's ready to check out some new electronics? What I have here on the workbench is the Fataba 4PM or T4PM if you prefer. Uh, this is a great mid-level radio system and it's packed full of features. Really nice. I've had it at the workshop here for a little while. Been messing around with it. Had it in the Tamiya CCO2 and uh, I'm ready to talk to you guys about what I think about this radio system. First up, it's available in a couple of different configurations depending on the receiver that you get with it. Uh, what I have here is obviously the, the 4PM and then I have the R304 SB receiver uh, and that works with the telemetry side uh, from what I understand of uh, the, you know, the features of this system. Uh, but this system, it's pretty versatile. It's uh, also pretty high tech as well as far as what you could do with it. Also in the box was an instruction manual, the short manual, which is pretty long. I think I've read through this a number of times. I still don't have everything down in my head, uh, but also in the box was, I believe, an Allen driver and a, a little screwdriver because you can make some adjustments to like trigger tension and stuff, which I'm going to get into in a little bit. Uh, but first, let's go over the radio feel itself. And uh, I really like how Fataba radios are. I mean, the, the, or how they look, how they feel in your hand. It's just a nice finished product. That's something that I've always loved from Fataba and uh, of course it's carried through here on the 4PM but we've got a nice chrome wheel with a really nice foam grip to it. Uh, the handle is a nice medium size in my opinion so I think it's going to fit a wide range of hands. Um, there's some trigger adjustments which uh, again I'll get to that in a minute uh, but you know just the, the, the overall finish and feel really nice. Batteries load from the bottom and you can of course use different types of rechargeable battery packs. Of course I can't get the slide open. There we go. Uh, but it did come with a three cell holder for the bottom already set in there. I've got my Max Amps batteries in there to power it up. Uh, also on the outside we've got this little shark fin antenna in the front. We've got a hook on the back or a little loop on the back so for those of you guys that like to uh, have a lanyard around your neck to hold your radio system when you're not using it uh, you know it's got that option there and then we get to the LCD screen so it's a backlit screen uh, really nice size in my opinion for a mid-range radio system uh, and then let me turn it on here it's got this nice big chrome power switch and it just lights up and it quickly gets right into the menus uh, really you know no delay there uh, there's some radios out there you gotta wait for it to power up and get into the system uh, but this I mean it's almost instant here down on the bottom, we've got this little jog button. It kind of just moves around and you're able to scroll through all the menus. And then we've got this outer plate here that uh, allows you to through some of the options or end and back out of uh, whatever screen you're in. Uh, on the face of it, we've got a bunch of different trim dials. I mean, this thing is loaded up with trim dials and uh, some of them are a momentary switch. We've got dual rate buttons over here and then other trim dials up top and then even a trim dial over here as well. So there's a lot of stuff that you could set up. Uh, you know, if you're into crawling, uh, maybe want to set up some lights or a winch or something like that, you could go ahead and do it with this radio system, even a dig. Uh, over on the back side of it, there is a port for a, a micro SD card. So if you need to ever go and update the software, you could do it through that micro SD card port. There's a COM port, charging uh, port as well. So if you go and put uh, the proper rechargeable batteries in, I guess you could go ahead and charge it through there if you want. And then finally, there's two little screw holes. So you could go put the optional carbon fiber handle on the top of it. I bet you that would look pretty trick on there. Uh, but again, overall, it's got a nice feel. Let me get to the, that, that trigger that I was uh, mentioning before. So this is a highly adjustable trigger, actually. Uh, you could go ahead and adjust the position in and out on the radio system. So if you've got a longer finger stride, uh, you could push the, the trigger farther out. You could also set the brake stop on here, and you could also set the trigger tension. And you could actually set the wheel tension as well uh, with the little screw that they have uh, underneath the bottom side of the radio system here. So uh, again, it's it's a it's an adjustable radio. It's not just uh, you know a fixed radio system like a lot of ready to run systems are. This this you could go ahead and really dial it into your field within a budget friendly radio. I think that's pretty cool. All right, now let's get into some of the features here. This is one of uh, Fataba's super response systems. So using the proper receiver, you could put it in the SR mode. And as long as your, your servo is a SR compatible servo from Fataba, 
uh, you could get that really awesome response time uh, that Fataba is really well known for. Now, if you want to go and use the, the telemetry stuff or use it in their standard TFHSS system, you could use it with many other servos. There are a lot of different functions that you have to go through in here in order for you to fine tune it with your equipment so you're getting the most out of it. And I'm, I'm probably making this sound a little bit more complicated than it is. Uh, uh, trust me, it's, it's very easy to, to get in there and, and switch things around and get it set up for your particular use. Now, beyond the ability to change out the response rate on it, you could also set this radio system up for Mini-Z with the proper receiver, which is uh, very cool as well. Mini-Z racing is growing in popularity again, and uh, if you are looking for a mid-level radio system to drive your Mini-Z, this is a great option to have. Now let's talk about some of the menus in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of cheat, look at the, the system as I go. Uh, there's steering and throttle exponential, uh, speed, throttle accessories, ABS, throttle mode, uh, and then it gets into your basic features like your reverse and sub trim endpoints. You know, the stuff you usually see on a, a lot of the radio systems out there. Uh, but, you know, right there on screen number one, screen number two allows you to go through all the, the model detail that you're going to put in that you're going to set up with your models. This is a 40 model memory radio. And, uh, you know, I don't think I would ever program that many models on a radio system, but that option is there. I mean, maybe you can go and set up model one on your, your racing buggy. Uh, and then, you know, model two could be a different variation of that buggy depending on the track if you want. I guess you could use it in that respect. Uh, but you could go through here, set up the name, you could copy models, uh, reset the names, transfer the names, and uh, set up the S bus system, the MC link, and the failsafe for the receiver. So, uh, great options to have in a radio system. Uh, into menu three, we have the STR mix, which is steering mix, brake mix, gyro mix. Four-wheel steering, which is awesome for those of you guys that are into you know the monster truck scene, rocking some cloud busters and stuff. Dual ESC setup, that is very cool. CPS mix, um, I'm gonna admit that I don't know what that is. I missed that in the manual. Uh, program mix, switch, and trim dial, which allows you to go and adjust the, the trims on, on the radio system here and set them up as you like them. On to uh, menu number four, we've got the, the timer, lap list, uh, telemetry, and log data and some additional system info on the bottom that you can go and jog through that. Uh, so again, really easy to get through all of this stuff and really overloaded with features uh, for this level of radio system, in my opinion. I mean, it's it's a $230 uh, price point, depending on which model that you get. I think it varies uh, up uh, 20 bucks and down 20 bucks, something to that effect. Uh, but this thing is loaded. I mean, I think this is a radio system that if you're looking to upgrade from a, a ready-to-run radio system, you want a radio system that is going to last a long time, that's got a good high-end feel to it, that's easy to navigate through the trim functions and uh, get your vehicle set up properly. This 4PM looks like it's a great solution. And, and as I mentioned before, I did go ahead and use this in uh, my CCO2, which is a trail truck, uh, but I found it really comfortable to hold over a long period of time. I found the steering to be nice and smooth. I found I found the response time to be nice and smooth. Even not using the SR system, I thought that the response that the, the radio had uh, was, was on point, and I didn't notice any variations throughout driving with this radio. So you really are getting a true Fataba experience with this. Now I was going through the radio system, trying to find something that could be improved, but for a radio system in this price point, for the intended user, it's really well equipped. I mean, if I had to say something, maybe an issue would be you can't use the sensors in during the SR mode, I could kind of understand why they did that. I guess the operating system can only do one or the other at, uh, at a time. So, you know, it, depending on what you're using this for, maybe you would need uh, the super response rate while using the sensors, maybe not, uh, but that's just kind of something to throw out there. Uh, the other thing was, is uh, I'm not sure where I saw it, but um, it said something about you have to use SR compatible servos with the super response uh, system as well. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're making your servo purchases, if you're going to use the SR system. Uh, this particular radio that I've been using does not have it. Uh, it does not have the receiver for the SR. So I haven't messed around with it. Uh, but the response of the, the receiver and the system, you know, as is, is still, you know, really good in my book. Fatava makes a great radio. I trust the radio system. It was the first radio system that uh, I had when I got into RC. It was a stick radio and uh, I've enjoyed 
enjoying their radios ever since. Like I said, I had a great time with the 4PX. I've been having a great time with the 4PM. If you're looking to upgrade your radio system in the near future, definitely give this one a look. I'll have a link in the description below so you can go check out the Fataba website. Some additional information, of course, as well. And while you're there, please hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. We'll see you back here soon for some more RC driver videos.